Hey there, I got a crazy story for you. You're not gonna believe this. Between one billion and two billion of FTX customer funds disappeared. SBF, which I'm gonna go into, had a secret backdoor to transfer billions. Ro uh, Reuters reported that at least one billion worth of customer funds vanished and two sources familiar with the ex-CEO because he has resigned, Sam Bankman Fried, transferred $10 billion of customer funds from FTX to a digital asset trading house called called Alameda Research, which is his company. Crazy, right? FTX, Sam Bankman, fried will he go to jail and cz which we're going to talk about him later is binance founder supposedly destroyed this guy financial youtubers have been pumping fdx for months they're embarrassed because they cost you millions and millions of dollars people are angry very angry because this two billion dollars just missing taken from customer accounts and because this company is in the bahamas well they weren't even able to see that the funds were gone and now suddenly it's estimated that suspiciously there's $477 million that's just been hacked. If you understand the crypto world, you're like, there's no way they were hacked. This is a crazy story. You just can't make this stuff up where financial reality is stranger than anything that you could make up fictionally right now. This is leaving victims everywhere, including, and I'm not kidding, this is breaks my heart, 1,200, 1,200 teachers and millions of people have been financially crushed by these two billionaires playing this pump and and dump scheme. One pumped, the other, well, he dumped. The guy who dumped it, bankrupted one of the billionaire's company, was worth $16 billion a week ago, and net worth just disappeared over two days. FTX Sam, who pumped it up, and CZ, which I'll go into later, Xingpen Zhao, who dumped it. I, I'll pronounce his name better later. Why and what it means to crypto, Coinbase, or is this just another repeat of what happened 10 years ago with the ICOs, or what's been happening in this country for 109 years with the Federal Reserve who enacted the Federal Reserve Act in 1913. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can become crazy rich faster than ever before, $16 billion in two years if you get in and out at the right time, or you can go broke in a flash if you don't get out in time. My name is Andrew Cartwright, and and I'm here to help you leverage your money, make it, catapult you to massive success. I've started 32 companies in 17 industries and have bought 17. And I'm looking to buy 99 more with you through Epic 99, which is in the description if you're interested in that. I'm buying 99 companies with my audience. If you need a loan, there's 12 different programs in the link down below. 12 different programs for you, 75 different lenders. Also, you can get 15 free stocks down there with Moomoo. Moo. And also there's a link for Weeble. And I don't chat with people and give out my number in the actual comments below. All my information, if you want to reach me, is in the description under all my contact information, as well as being able to get a loan there. The company is FTX that we're going to talk about, a crypto exchange platform founded by Sam Bankman Fried, SBF as he's known by, and another company, Binance, a competitor that was founded by Cheng Pen Zhao, or CZ as everyone likes to call him, maybe because his name's a little tough. They founded the number one and number two crypto exchange in the world. These exchanges close out trades, much like the stock exchange does, that we all know of when you buy and sell stock, like your regular stocks, like Apple or Microsoft. Both exchanges were worth billions, and both Sam and CZ, or Shengpin, were billionaires days ago or a week ago. The story begins with FTX on July 31st, 2019, and take a look at this. FTX was the token on July 31st, 2019 was worth zero market cap. Then 1.6 million in volume in 24 hours. Then just a couple years later on September 8th, 2021, two years, two months later, it was worth $9,390,000,000. And nothing really has changed. It's the same token, the same code. Nothing's really changed in this token. Like it's the same thing. So what's different? How does something that's zero go to nine? 9.39 billion from thin air and uh, just from some computer code. Then in two days, vaporize and send a company into bankruptcy, causing a nightmare for one billionaire and victory to crush a competitor for the other. So how do you create billions out of nowhere? Well, here's how you create 9.39 billion in a nutshell. They're called market makers. 
Yes, makers of markets in crypto. Much like the stock market, as we all know the stock market today, market makers create markets through value. By trading, they create value, creating the perception of a market value. See, the volume of trades at a price over time gives people the confidence that it'll continue to stay at that price, and it must be worth that because other people are paying for it and selling and buying at that price. By the way, both billionaires have market-making backgrounds. Both of them are extremely versed in high frequency trading. Here are the difference between crypto and the stock market. In crypto, there's nothing necessarily backing the token. It's not an asset based token or a security token or a stock certificate. But in most cases, it's just a token that you can use. I know that sounds kind of strange. One is backed by something. The other is something you can use like, I don't know, a stapler. So how can these market makers victimize so many people like the 1200 teachers of the Ontario pension fund, especially since one of the billionaire's parents were both teachers. This billionaire, CZ, dumped two billion of FTX overnight. As you can imagine, the billionaire fight between these two and the two billion dumped left a huge financial hole in the teacher's pension plan or fund for all those teachers. How much he asked? $95 million gone from the teacher's hard work and time teaching children. Really? As little as teachers make, two billionaires pump and dump and crush them all legally. I guess we'll see if Sam doesn't go to jail, which I don't think he necessarily will. I'll get into that later in this video. It comes down to that. It, this just came out a couple of days ago. The Ontario Teachers Pension Plan invested $95 million into the crypto platform FTX. The pension plan, they're hard to get. They're huge investors and they invest very, 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 conservatively in highly secure conservative investments like treasuries, bonds, blue chip stocks like Apple and Exxon. And for example, when I'm investing in stock, I typically will look down at the bottom to see how much the institutions hold to see if at like, for example, Apple has 58.2 percent is held by institutions, meaning that institutions really feel comfortable about this and they're conservative investors. That's one of the ways that I make decisions about a stock. It doesn't mean I'll necessarily buy or sell it. I'm not giving you a financial advice about that's what you want to do, but it is something I look at because institutions move slow. They do their research, you hope, and you can see them leave a stock because they're so big that as a conservative investor, I can see if they're getting out and then I can say, why are they getting out? I can probably get out sooner than they can. So it's a good sign for me to see that kind of seal of approval from institutions. Who is behind this teacher's pension plan investment decision? The CEO and president of the $189 billion pension plan was Joe Taylor. And does he know crypto? Joe, do you know crypto? I think no. Joe joined the Orlando Teachers Union uh, pension plan in 2012 and was appointed president and CEO on January 1st, 2020. And Joe is a global recognized this is according to his LinkedIn he is a global recognized investor with 35 years of experience leading investment teams and most recently he was responsible for advancing Ontario's teachers global effectiveness and expansion working closely with senior colleagues to design and execute on international investment strategy he has also been a member of and committee of the private companies and total fund allocated to review investment proposals manage key relationship and optimize resource allocation. Man, Joe, you might need to update your LinkedIn and throw in there also oops on FTX and call me. I'd love to chat with you. So don't feel bad if you lost money because here's a guy with 35 years experience that just lost $95 million of teacher's money, which is horrible. I think that's terrible. Who fooled Joe Taylor and the 1200 teachers and millions of other people who actually fooled them? His name is SBF, Sam Bankman Fried. Is he gonna get fried? I don't know. Better known as SBF, Bloomberg reports net worth 16 billion to zero after FTX collapse from CNN business. In less than a week, Sam Bankman fried $16 billion fortune evaporated. And from Benzinga crypto, how to lose $16 billion in three days. How Sam Bankman fried wealth disappeared 
And this is from Forbes, The Devil in Nerds Clothing, How Sam Bankman Fried Cult of Genius Fooled Everyone. Well, I gotta take this one from one of my favorite mentors, Warren Buffett. If you don't understand something, which Joe probably maybe didn't, I'm just saying, because if he did know, he probably wouldn't have invested. Don't invest in it. This comes from Warren Buffett. If you don't understand it, then pass on the investment. If I don't understand an investment, I don't do it. I'll just bet on black. I'm in Vegas and I'll get a free drink with that too. So, you know, that's my thing. If I don't understand it, I think it's better off gambling it and getting a drink. Interest in crypto and crypto exchanges exploded in recent years, as many of you know. More high profile individuals like professional athletes and other entertainer personalities have joined the financial institutions in investing in FTX. Many of them you know and love. This made it easy for Sam Bankman Fried or SBF to pump FTX with F1, the arena at Miami Day County, which has FTX on the actual thing. Oh, by the way, they're looking for uh, 16.5 million that you owe them. Also, Major League Baseball, along with celebrity athletes and influencers who you may know, Tom Brady, Stephen Curry, and also Shark Tank's Kevin O'Leary. Yeah, who could take a bite out of Kevin O'Leary in the digital space? He's known as CZ, Shang Pen Zhao, the billionaire shark who was the one who took down FTX. And then, then, not now, billionaire Sam Bankman Fry. Sam's known as the JP Morgan and the White Knight and the savior of crypto. Does that make CZ the Black Knight? Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments. I'd love to know. Although, not everyone shares the same opinion of the White Knight, the SBF. Elon Musk said, This dude is, well, he called it BS. I can't say it on the channel here. Elon Musk described the first time he met SBF. Elon said that his BS meter was redlined. And Elon said, quote, something's wrong. Maybe that's because Elon got $500 million from the Black Knight, CZ of Binance, his competitor, the one who crushed him, that helped him purchase Twitter. $500 million, eh, I'd probably side with them too. By the way, I felt the same about this when they tried to reach out and have me sponsor and do videos, FTX, and also those NFT pump and dumps. I just don't do those on my channel. It's not something I care about. I got a real estate program that I help people with. I got other ways and also YouTube takes care of you. I, I don't understand why you have to pump stuff that could hurt people. SBF started trading at Alameda Research, creating markets, then he was able to start FTX, which then he was able to create market and create $16 billion out of thin air. Sam used something we talk about a lot in this channel. He catapulted himself to massive success. Crypto is one way, one of the fastest ways to get rich from nothing. But knowing when to dump it, that seems to be really key. Knowing when to get out of it. Why one of the best in the industry wasn't able to dump it in time was because the competitor dumped it first. CZ, the black knight in this story. CZ is no stranger to the catapult, he became a billionaire worth $33 billion in five years by owning the number one exchange in the world. Sheng Pin Zhao, better known as CZ, which is what I should call him because I'm sure I screw up his name every time I say it. 30th richest person in the world, worth $33 billion, 45 years old. He moved from China to Canada at 12 years old with his parents, both teachers. His career started at McDonald's. He got a degree in computer science, interned at the Tokyo Stock Exchange, developed software for matching trading orders. Four years, he went over to Bloomberg to develop futures trading. Then he moved to Shanghai and created a company called Fusion Systems high frequently trading for brokers in 2005. Now in 2009, Bitcoin was launched that paper and by 2013, he started a project called Blockchain Info. Then later, four years later, he launched Binance in 2015 and started it with an ICO of $15 million. The rest is history. $33 billion this guy is worth today. This guy has and can get money too. Binance Labs just closed on a round for $500 million June of 2022. And it's focused on blockchain adoption and Web3. Binance has been able to invest their money from thin air in 170 projects in 25 countries since 2018, plus $2 billion over 164 projects in crypto. Binance is not just an exchange. It's also obviously a crypto private equity. Using the power of markets to take a dollar and turn it into a hundred and then invest it in projects, hopefully that don't blow up like FTX, makes them worth 
so much money and has given him a net worth of $33 billion. Now, Binance and FTX is all about leverage. That's what FTX ultimately crushed them. And ultimately, the US FTX is going to throw them into bankruptcy, which many private equity companies like Sequoia Capital, who invested in them, have already sent out letters to their investors saying that this FTX, this thing is worth nothing at all. It puts the pump and dump Elizabeth Holmes Theranos, that blood company that had a device that took one drop of blood and supposedly was going to tell you everything, which their lawsuit just ended because there was no product there. There was contracts, there were brands like Walgreens, but there was no real device. For many of you concerned about Coinbase, there is a big difference between exchanges, money transmitter licenses, which are licensed here in all 50 states, and custodian where something is actually held and secure. There is a big difference between these exchanges and someone who these different places in the US state side that are audited. And how do you make money with this stuff and not become a victim? Characters like Sam Bankman, Fried and CZ. The ultimate problem is people are greedy, dishonest and ignorant. That Sam admits to being able to create value from nothing and in his own words talks about it like it's a Ponzi scheme. We got to get back. To, we got to go all the way back to 1913 with the Federal Reserve. Why during Christmas, which is coming up, when few people were in Washington and few Americans were paying attention, the Federal Reserve Act was enacted and thousands of private banks all went out of business, creating a banking monopoly. The problem here is CZ has created a monopoly. You honestly think he would support Sam Bankman Fried with a fat cut of the business to FTX or even Voyager who recently diminished. Of course, not but a little pump and dump won't hurt anyone, right? But it hurt crypto, teachers and confidence in the market. But CZ probably doesn't care. Why? Because it just makes it much harder for anyone to enter the space, keeping the US federal government and governments around the world completely in chaos and confusion. As CZ and Sam, they've beat the game. They have so much money and gray law, meaning they can't be directly charged with anything, is the problem. See, Sam, he's still worth $991 million and he's 30 years old. If he lives 60 more years, lives to 90 years old, that's 15.2 million a year to spend. Not not bad for a few years of work, right? Like Bernie Madoff said, I wouldn't have taken their money if they weren't so greedy. They wanted that money and it wasn't there to pay them. When you take it money, really, currency has no real intrinsic value. It's just said it's worth money. Crypto has no intrinsic value. Gold, unless you value it, has no real intrinsic value. Sorry about that, Peter Schiff. So we really got to ask ourselves today, what really has real value. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Take care. Be safe. Be careful with this crypto trading. If you don't understand it, I wouldn't invest anything you don't plan to absolutely lose. And by the way, I have no money in FTX. I never planned to, and I didn't do a sponsorship with them. Take care.